flipping off the president. You've all seen that picture. You remember it. Julie Briskman made national headlines with that photo. It was two years ago. That was when President Trump's motorcade was passing by in Virginia as he left his golf club. Briskman was uh, later fired of her job because of that. That is the price she paid. But last night, she got a new job, winning a seat on the County Board of Supervisors in Loudoun County, Virginia, just outside of Washington, D.C. And Julie Briskman uh, is out front with me now. Julie, I appreciate your time. So look, I remember when that photo happened. Everybody does. It was sort of a, it was a moment. Um, and it went viral. How much do you think, and, and you lost your job because of that, but then it I became did. important uh, in your campaign. How much do you think it helped you? Um, yes, and thank you so much for having me, Aaron, tonight. I really appreciate it. Uh, it. There's no doubt that that photo and me getting unjustly fired from my position um, at work uh, kicked off my drive and kicked off my desire to become active politically. Um, that day that I got fired, I went home and signed up to work the polls uh, at the, during the statewide in 2017. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I don't know that it helped my name recognition in my community. I'm, I'm very active in my community, but it definitely jump-started my activism. So it was an important moment for you. I mean, what, what does your victory say about voter sentiment when it comes to Donald Trump, do you think? Um, I think it says that Algonquin District, Loudoun County, and the entire state of Virginia um, is going to stand up against the Trump agenda. All the voters said that yesterday. And Democrats in Virginia, as you point out, right, you now control the state, the, the state Senate, the House, the yes. governor's mansion. Uh, that is the first time in terms of a sweep like that in Virginia for nearly 30 mm -hmm. years. You unseated an eight-year incumbent Republican yes. yourself, Julie. Yes. Uh, do, do you see last night's win as part of a larger trend? I mean, was this about Trump? Um, you know, I didn't run on the Trump issue necessarily. I ran on issues that affect my community, such as, you know, uh, fully funding our schools, supporting working women, making sure that we more intelligently develop in a county that's grown by leaps and bounds since I moved there 20 years ago. Um, but there's no doubt when I was knocking doors that it was brought up and it was brought up on a regular basis. Um, there were times when uh, I would knock a door and someone said, if you're a Democrat, I'm voting for you. I don't really, wow. <laughs> I don't need to hear more. Had a number of Republicans say, I'm not voting Republican again until this uh, administration is gone. So um, I think it says a lot. I think that Virginia set the tone for 2020, in my opinion. Oh, so you did hear that from Republicans, which is really interesting. Just anecdotally yes. that, that you would share that, yeah. Julie. So, you know, I have to say, when I saw that picture, I was torn. It's very interesting to hear you talk about how significant it was. I mean, for you personally, right, that it was a moment. Um, yes. You know, you lost your job. It, it, you became yeah. active politically. It, 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 it's why you're sitting where you are right now, because it motivated you. Um, yeah. You know, I'm sure you weren't expecting it. I'm sure you did it in the heat of the moment. You weren't expecting it to be caught on camera, obviously. No. <laughs> um, do, do you, when you look back on it and how viral it went, have any regrets about how the message came across or how you, you know, showed your anger at the, at the president and the, and the office of the president? Um, I don't really have any regrets for, um, for stating my opinion that day. No, not at all. I mean, things were... Everything that we thought could go wrong was going wrong at the time. I mean, the hateful rhetoric, the, you know, the criticisms and, and uh, discrimination against immigrants, everything that we thought uh, could go bad was going bad at the time, and it's just gotten worse. So, in fact, no, I don't, um, I don't have any regrets about it. And um, I think that, you know, like I said, Virginia has, has spoken, and Virginia has rebuked the entire agenda of the Trump administration. All right. Well, Julie, I appreciate your time. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much. No, oh, thanks for having me.